When I was younger, I knew I wanted to be a footballer, and such was the culture of, of the sport back then here in Australia that you had to kind of be okay with the idea that you might have to leave home and, and travel pretty fast. So I ended up taking a couple of opportunities here and there when they came up to, to go overseas and expand my horizons, learn a little bit from, from different uh, footballing cultures, and to be involved in different setups, even just a, for a short period of time. To uh, Get to grow as a, as a young person, as a young footballer. I mean, every time you go somewhere new, you learn from the players, you learn from the style of play. So, uh, yeah, I had a different different pathway to a lot of players, but it was something that I'm very happy that I did because it's made me the person and the, the player I am now. I had accepted I would do all this travelling and then I got given a chance in my home city. So it was it was nice for my family to, to be able to enjoy that and uh, to come to the games. And, yeah, I had a great time at Sydney FC. So, uh, was very successful there. So it was... Uh, Equal part of my life. A lot of people, um, when they go their whole careers, they might play 20 years and, and, not, and not win a trophy. So, yeah, I still remember winning the grand final and um, just looking at the other boys in the, in the dressing room after and the other boys' reaction. This is ours, no one can take this away from us, and that's there forever now. So, we almost had that with the Wanderers last year, and it just it wasn't to be at, uh, at the, last, uh, the last step, but that's something that's now going to drive this group of players to, to have that feeling. At Sydney FC, the way the club was viewed by the rest of the league, um, it was almost like people didn't want us to win, whereas the, the Wanderers was such a fairy tale story, it felt like everyone in Australia was on our side. So it was uh, yeah, pretty special you know, going on the, the streak that we went on to, to win the Premier's plate. And, um, yeah, the last day of the season in Newcastle to wrap it up in the way that we did was um, yeah, very very smooth. You know, long after we've all finished playing football, this club's going to be massive and we all know that so we're very proud to be involved in these early stages and be part of building something that really is, I believe, um, is going to step up the way football is viewed in this country and the way the fans, you've seen our fans and you know, they, I hope the rest of the league steps up now because it could really be the uh, start of a new era for Australian football. Chesky furiously trying to get his wall right. Is this the moment for the Wanderers? It's Cole. It's a goal for Shadow Cole. 1 1. Brilliant free kick. I mean, scoring a goal anywhere, especially when I play at the back a lot of the time, it doesn't happen all that often. So, I mean, a few of my mates gave me stick, a few of my mates that are Sydney FC fans still, and uh, gave me a hard time. I don't think anyone was overly offended. In fact, we celebrated. It was a big, big moment for us to, to get back into a big game. So, I mean, I celebrated every goal that I scored for Sydney FC, and I did the same for the Wanderers. Winning games and being, being successful is the most important thing. But scoring goals is fun. Yeah, of course. That feeling never changes from when you're a kid and you, you know, hit the back of the net. I mean, for everyone that's worked with Popeye as a player and as a coach, Pop is Popeye. He wants to be the best. So that, that hasn't changed. He's taken that into his to his coaching, but I see now he uh, he sometimes understands that players need a, a a little bit of nurturing. Not all players, well, definitely not me. But <laughs> I've seen I've seen at times that some players he he, he needs to nurture a little bit, um, which is maybe something as a captain he, he didn't have time for. Um, but I mean, there's a you know, there's a reason people are drawn to him. People want to want to work under him because he brings the best out of you. And, uh, he demands the best of himself and, and so he's always going to demand the best of everyone that's working with him as well.